And they're all around the ground here if you want to pick okay. one up. <clears throat> I've got the little little tails in there. The little subtended bracts if you want to get all the tantal. Of course, these are Douglas fir cones, which we're standing under. Um, very easy to recognize. No other cone you're going to find has those funny little three pronged things. And the infamous story is that there was a forest fire and the mice were trying to get away from it, so they jumped into the cone. So that's their hind legs and their tail. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so this is a wonderful medicine. Of course, we all know we like to chop it down and turn it into houses and things, but the, uh, and there's, this is true actually of all evergreen trees in the Northwest, except the Pacific yew, which we're gonna see a little baby Pacific yew. Pacific yew is very poisonous, but every other evergreen tree, they actually have pretty much the very same properties, which is the needles have a lot of vitamin C in them. So this was commonly taken as a tea at the end of the winter when people were getting low on vitamin C, but also the resins and oils are very good for infection. So you can see um, this kind of sticky goo here. You can pluck this off and you can sort of dig in there with a knife. Now again, you don't want to run around doing this, but <laughs> this resin is really good for colds and flus and it's kind of like nature's band-aid. If you get a relatively mild cut, you can just stick that resin right on the cut it acts like a band-aid and it's antiseptic. And it's available year round everywhere. Like there's always evergreen trees around. So pine trees, fir trees, spruce trees, dug firs, you know, you've got a lot to choose from. And they're really very potent. So I'm really trying to promote people, whether it's tinctures or just <coughs> getting it off the trees at your house or whatever, to treat your colds and flus this way. You don't really even have to buy anything at the store. No, it's just always right around. And it's a really important first aid trick in the Northwest, in the mountains especially, because that's always going to be around. It has so many purposes. Would that be good for allergies? I don't know about it for allergies, but it's an interesting question. Yeah. So the leaf uh, good source of uh, uh, vitamin C, what else do we can use? It's just the, the leaf. These are milder for colds and flus and things, but the resin coming out of the bark is how much resin would you take if you were uh, What I often tell people is as much as your fingernail every two to four hours. And that's going to be for a couple days, you know, when you're most sick. And then as you get better, you start taking less. Yeah. 